Alright guys, I'm going to do a quick video here on the charging system I put on my iron head. Here's the expanded view of it, so I'm going to go by it piece by piece for you. Alright, here we have the battery. Negative, of course, is grounded out to the motor casing. Then you take the positive. You want to run it to a, the top terminal on your star solenoid behind your back exhaust. From there, you also put on that same post a lead wire with a 30 amp fuse or circuit breaker that goes down to the battery post on your regulator. Alright. Now everybody knows the A and the F go to the corresponding uh, terminals on the generator. From there, you'll run a wire up to your ignition switch. From your ignition switch, you will come back down to the ignition circuit breaker. Now these are 15 amp each. Okay, that's a ignition and a lighting. Okay, and there will be a gap wire that gaps across both of the battery posts on them uh, circuit breakers. Now the exit for the lighting, one will go to the brake light, brake light. One goes to headlight, the other goes to tail light. All three of those are hooked up on here. Okay. From the ignition exit, you will run a wire up to your running stop switch with a splice in the middle that goes over to the coil pack. Okay. From that run stop switch, you will come down to the small post on your relay. That will trigger and gap these two, which will send power from here. Remember, this is 30 amps. It'll gap it, send it across over and activate your star solenoid, which at some which at that point it will take this large post and gap this start post with positive, gap it, and go straight to the starter motor and turn your starter motor over as well as engage the star solenoid all at the same time. That's a simple explanation of how my system is set up to work. Feel free to leave your comments or any questions down in the in the box below. Thanks guys.